Dear friends, welcome to learning about. In this video, I have come up with another great news. So TCS, uh, after a short uh, uh, break, they have once again announced the TCS uh, Digital Ninja hiring. Uh, this time, they have also included the 2022 uh, batch. So this hiring is for uh, the three batches, 2020, 2021, and 2022, right? and uh, so they have made you know like a uh, uh, few changes with regard to i mean when, when you compare the previous uh, uh, ninja digital uh, hiring okay so you can even uh, directly go for digital uh, offer okay based on your performance in the test okay so uh, so they have said this uh, that tcs integrated test pattern uh, your caliber and your test performance will determine whether you will make the big move with a ninja or a digital offer okay so i'll explain that part uh, when we go towards the selection uh, process right so the salary usually if you see uh, for ug they give around like i mean uh, 3.6 you know like uh, or 4 lakhs uh, around you can expect for the ninja and for uh, digital it is uh, uh, close to 7 lakhs right and for PG again like 3.8 to 4 lakhs you know uh, for the uh, ninja and for TCS digital it is about 7.3 lakhs for the PG uh, uh, candidates now important dates uh, they have mentioned if, uh, 20th may as the last day to apply for this but uh, do not wait until the last date just apply uh, if you are eligible and willing just go for it immediately because they have given the test date as ongoing okay so which means probably like if you apply immediately you can get the assessment uh, very soon right and uh, so interview date they have said it will be uh, announced to post the test results now coming to the educational qualification, so BE, BTEC, any branch is eligible, ME, MTEC also any branch eligible, MCA can apply for this and MSC also any branch is eligible, right? And uh, so when it comes to the percentage criteria, uh, a minimum of 60 percentage or 60 GPA throughout the academic milestones, that is your 10th, 12th dip diploma if applicable, graduation and post graduation if applicable, okay, so 60 percentage minimum at all stages is what expected and there should not be any standing areas and the highest education should be completed in the com uh, stipulated uh, time and uh, with, with regard to the break, okay, uh, like there can be a maximum of two years of uh, a gap between education right and uh, so uh, whatever gap you know like that should be mentioned and also sufficient proof should be uh, given for that okay and usually they consider only like full time uh, uh, courses right and uh, so year of passing as i uh, said this already 2020 2021 and 2022 only these three batches are eligible for this uh, hiring okay and work experience there can be work experience up to two years and maximum age limit for this hiring is 28 years of age and they have said that all your documents you know academic documents must be readily available during the selection process uh, is uh, that is one of the things that they have mentioned in the notification now coming to the uh, selection process so they have said that the integrated test pattern will now allow you to showcase your talent and skills based on the basis of your test performance you will be either shortlisted for ninja interview or digital interview so how do they shortlist so you have a foundation section and then there is an advanced uh, uh, section now uh, so foundation uh, section is like uh, uh, is common uh, for all so that is like uh, numerical ability uh, verbal ability and uh, reasoning ability like three sections so you, uh, with regard to these three sections you can find you know like uh, numerical ability and reasoning ability videos okay and overall like how to crack this TCS uh, uh, process you know like you can find it on our channel the all the relevant videos are given in the description below and as far as the verbal ability is concerned so we have a practice platform you can check the um, and uh, those links are also given in the description below you can check the practice platform okay and you know like uh, so part b you have an advanced uh, section okay which is mandatory for digital uh, uh, aspirants okay wherein you will be uh, tested on advanced quantitative aptitude and uh, uh, advanced reasoning ability and advanced coding see as far as this quantitative and reasoning is concerned it's not much you know like higher okay uh, right in fact I, I would even say you know like not much difference between the foundation section and the other section but you know like so what you have to be strong uh, is the advanced coding okay right advanced coding so uh, so the one of the ins uh, uh, 
inferences here is that if you are you know like going for the uh, uh, if you are, if you are just looking for the ninja offer then there is no coding part okay so you have the coding part only if you are going for the uh, digital uh, only if you are aspiring for the digital offer uh, the coding is compulsory if you are looking for uh, just the ninja offer then there is no coding okay so that is one thing that you can inf infer okay so this is the selection process with regard to the written test okay right now so those who qualify okay uh, will be shortlisted for the interview and as mentioned before uh, so you will be shortlisted either for the ninja or for the digital uh, uh, offer I mean uh, ninja or the digital uh, interview okay so technical interview and subsequently followed by the hr interview now this is the process now how to apply uh, so by now you know like uh, so uh, most of you will be having profile in the uh, tcs next up portal even uh, like if you don't have a profile it is very easy to create so i have a video on like how to apply uh, in the tcs you know like uh, next up portal right uh, so uh, so let's say you are a registered user i know I'll, I'll explain you know like both these scenarios if you are a registered user just uh, log in and proceed to complete the application form and upon submission if you are uh, if you are having the uh, uh, particular degree if you are from the uh, batches like 2020 2021 and 2022 if you are from these three batches then you will uh, get the apply for drive okay then you have to click on this apply for drive i'll show you where it will appear uh, so you have to click on the apply for drive and the status will change it to applied for drive now you suppose uh, you are a new user then you have to click on register now and you have to register under it and then you have to fill the application form and then after that you know like you are, uh, you, are uh, you have to click on this apply for drive right so if you are a new user uh, just you know like if you click on the apply link that i have provided in the description you will get this okay so you have to choose it uh, after that you have to, the first part is the next up portal registration and then next one is the application form and the third one is the apply for drive so in the next up portal registration if you're registering for the first time uh, so name date of birth gender email id mobile number institute name qualification year of passing so all this like you have to fill in very very carefully and also you have to give the nearest test location uh, here they have not mentioned explicitly whether it is a remote location or uh, in center uh, they are not uh, mentioned explicitly uh, okay so that part is not very clear so it's it could be likely to be i mean the virtual or the remote but uh, i'm not confirming anything because they have not mentioned anything so nearest test, loca test location you will not only find the tire road cities even tire two tire three cities uh, in the nearby uh, tire one tire two cities i mean sorry tire two tire three cities also you will find so fill this part so a part also like carefully if you are apply i mean if you are applying for the first time then give the password and then complete it okay so then again uh, use your uh, login uh, uh, once you have created that okay so uh, use your login id and password and uh, and complete the application form wherein you have to fill in your personal details academic and work experience languages known achievement and form preview and declaration so in the personal details you be basically asked for your address and contact details in the academic and work experience of course you have to fill in your uh, 10th 12th graduation highest qualification and then if you have any other qualification or work experience you have to fill that and then in the language is known you have to fill in your nationality and the what are the uh, languages that you know to read write and speak and then any achievement and scholarship if, and certifications if you got you can fill it up and then you have to upload your photograph and then uh, your resume as well right now after that once you have completed the application right uh, you have to click on this apply for drive right and to confirm your see they, they will not send any confirmation mail to confirm your status if you track uh, if you check on track your application the uh, the status should reflect reflect as applied for drive okay so where you will find this applied uh, apply for drive so whether you are a new new you I mean if you are a new user after you complete the application form you will find the apply for drive now if you are a already existing user whatever you know like changes uh, uh, additions if you want to make after completing the form if you look you know like on the left side you know like now this is a old screenshot okay so usually if you see uh, on the left side okay you will get this apply for drive if you click on this apply for drive after that if you track the application status uh, it will show status like applied for drive okay the status should be applied for drive so this is how usually it is right now if you have any queries uh, please post your questions in the comment section below 
and uh, i i hope this video was useful to you if you found this video useful if you like this video click on the like button and uh, share it with your friends who may need it if you have not already subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing thanks for watching the video have a great day